Hey guys, Tux here, and this is a buy request video. We had a viewer on Tux Review want to learn more about the Red Dragon Gaming Keyboard. And this kind of goes along with the Red Dragon Gaming Mouse I reviewed recently. You can see a link up here or in the queue, um, but it was a great mouse for the money. It goes for about $25 on sale on Amazon with Prime free shipping, um, and it retails for about 50 bucks. So it's like a $50 mouse, essentially. And this keyboard is very similar. The keyboard is in the $20 range, and I want to say it cost me like 23 maybe or something shipped and it went for about $50 or $60 like normal retail but it's a markdown item you know um, to try and be competitive sometimes brands like Red Dragon will actually lower the price of their higher quality items to try and compete with Razer and these other companies and I'm one who really I'm all about saving the money for the video card and things that really matter for gaming mice and keyboards you want something nice and it has good quality but it, you don't have to have the highest most expensive one personally I'd put the money into the video card or the CPU and RAM that kind of thing but anyway back to the keyboard so this keyboard itself has beautiful packaging. I mean, this looks very nice, very aggressive red, and has a really nice glossy part on the keyboard and matte black around it. The Red Dragon itself kind of glimmers in the light like a hologram, you can see. Very cool. I mean, this gaming keyboard itself promises to be high speed, high control, and high response with an 18-month warranty. Some other features, it says 19 without conflict. I guess there's 19 keys, uh, keystrokes at one time. I'm not sure about that. You can answer in the comments below if you know about that one. Multimedia keys, 12. Seven different colors of ba uh, black light. Keys are changeable. Windows lock, variable speed, has braid to it, and gold plated, which is very nice. All sides of this look very nice. Again, this is not like an OEM cardboard box. This is a definitely something which is meant to look great on a store shelf. Flipping to the back here, Give some examples here to show some color schemes. Red, green, dark blue, yellow, light blue, purple, white, and no light. So quite a few light combinations. Some of these are common like red and green, but I don't often see this light blue like teal color. That's kind of interesting. So very cool, it gives some options here. Has some things here, comments in the back. Seven fancy backlighting, uh, four levels of brightness, that's cool. Adjustable um, speed, 104 standard keys, 19 non-conflict keys, interesting. 12 multimedia keys, two adjustable, um, two adjustable gear for input, okay. Interchangeable, up down, while wa sad. Um, Windows key, display when gaming. Um, let's see, unremovable laser engraved uh, chocolate keycaps, interesting. Okay. And it has it in a few languages here. You can see the box. If you want to pause it, you can. But it gives you an idea. But the box, again, itself is really nice. Super fancy. And let's take a look inside the box. Okay, I got my scissors here. And we're going to go ahead and bust into this bad boy. See what we're dealing with. Looks like there's a seal. I always like it when retail boxes have like a seal. So you know no one's been like, you know, using it or returning it or whatever. When you buy something new, you like it to be new. You know, at least that's my feelings. Okay, so we're going to open this up here. Ooh, I see something I like already. Can you see it? All right, I'll talk more about this in one second. We pull this out. Okay. First off, the packing. Really nice packing. Um, it has a plastic bag around it, which is nice. And you don't always see this, but it has a really nice foam, like, protective layer when you're shipping it. So that's really good. Keep it super fresh and nice for the new buyer. Okay, looks like we have a little pack here we'll look at in one second. In fact, well, here, let's dive into this. This is probably not too important, but let's see what comes in the little plastic baggie. Okay, um, this does come with books. Some of these cheaper things may not necessarily come with, like, an instruction guide. This one does. has warranty, which is good. Read about that. Okay, and then it has kind of an instruction guide, which is probably going to be, like, a multi-language deal. And it, this would hopefully include some things like we've had questions on other mice about how do I change the color and things like that. And so it's great that, yeah, this looks like it's several languages. Thank you for making the purchase. Talks about not getting a wet warranty card. Um, talks about function, different facts. Talks about the keys here. Um, keyboard doesn't react. And uh, let's see, yeah, this is everything. Um, so you can read about this. If you have any particular questions, let me know. Um, you can see this, you can pause this if you like, a lot of different languages, but a pretty basic um, thing. No sticker, 
So nice to come with a sticker, which is kind of nice, but you know, it's okay. Not everything has to have a sticker. Um, but I'd say that this is definitely nice how at least it comes in a little plastic bag, separate warranty card, and it's nice that it comes with instructions. Now, does that come with a disc? Okay, so this is definitely a plug and play keyboard. All right, looking at this beauty, first off, um, the bottom part, the palm rest is built in. This is not removable, so this is like a one big keyboard. Um, on the back side here, we have some nice rubber, rubber, so it's good non-slip, non-slip, and there is kickouts here, so you can like elevate it. There's one on each side. Um, I do have to say the cord. Okay, you've heard me talk about cords before. One sign of a quality item is a nice braided cord. It's one thing that cheaper companies often skimp on because it's a great way of saving money. But really, that's for me, when I look at hardware, if I have something that has a nice braided cord, that's a good sign. They put some real thought and time into making a nice package. Also, the end is very nice. Got the gold plate on there. But the cord, man, this cord looks very nice. Good quality cord. And it does have a little Velcro tie thing here to help keep it all together. So A plus, guys, Red Dragon. Awesome job having the red cord on the Red Dragon. Love it. Okay, moving on to the keyboard itself. The texture of it is kind of, it has a little stickery thing here. Protective thing will remove. So you get the full glossiness. It looks beautiful. Okay, the, the feel of this is interesting. This has kind of a slightly rubbery feel. Like in the back here, this is like your normal PVC hard plastic. But this has a slightly rubbery feel to it, kind of to make it kind of non-skid, if you will. I don't think your hands are going to stick to it or cause problems, but it definitely has a different feel than the hard plastic on the back or the rubber little mid here. Now, the keys themselves are interesting. This is a little bit different than a lot of the gaming keyboards I had before. It's not big keys to stick up. They're very kind of like a laptop keyboard where they're very short stroke keys. The keys do not feel mechanical as far as nature. They don't make a lot of clicking. You can hear. So that's just you know kind of your basic keyboard, but it does not sound like a, a click, 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 click mechanical keyboard. Um, does have a few buttons up here. Um, has a little logo here, a beautiful red stripe here. I'm loving that. That red stripe, it looks very cool and chic. And the buttons itself, again, are very low, very flat to the keyboard. You can kind of see there, the height of them is like one millimeter. So unlike a lot of keyboards that have like you know, your half inch keys or whatever, this is a very low keyboard, very low profile, but very high tech looking and nice. All right, let's plug this in and see what this looks like once it has power to it. All right, guys, we got it plugged in and it is working good. Windows picked up with no problems. I tested it on a Windows 10 machine, a Windows 8.1 machine, and a Windows 7 machine. No problems. So pretty much any computer with a USB port will should pick this right up with no problems at all. As far as color changing, you got your button right here. You can hit that. You can change between red, green, blue, yellow, teal, fuchsia, although it looks kind of bluish on the screen here. Um, it's actually kind of a pinkish purple color. Um, this yellow or this kind of off-white color and then off so you can really color match your fans to your keyboard to your mouse and go through the whole thing which is very nice and it is nice you can turn it off too although personally I really do like backlighting so when I'm gaming in the dark it's not a problem I can see my keys you know um, the keyboard itself like I mentioned before very soft luxurious feel kind of a rubbery feel without being too sticky the dragon logo here does light up which is pretty cool the red dragon is actually red which is nice and you can just see it's really a beautiful keyboard I think it would be a fine keyboard for anyone's gaming rig and for 25 bucks is quite a steal you know it's pretty good so check it out guys um, I would say it's a big thumbs up if you have the red dragon mouse it will match that mouse which is fantastic and again I think this will work with any kind of build that you have but it does not come with the driver's disc I get a lot of questions does it have a disc again this one does not have a disc but it really shouldn't be a problem if you guys have any questions about this red dragon keyboard please let me know in the comments below and i will try and answer them for you be sure and check out my other hardware reviews and if you have any requests of things you'd like to see reviewed just let me know down the road i may do a part two of this after i've tested it actually playing a few games to give some additional thoughts and feelings about this red dragon keyboard but so far i give it a big thumbs up i like it it has a real nice feel to it and it feels really nice quality you know i think this is a keyboard that will last for a while but we will let you know okay and also guys don't forget on the tux toys channel my my sister channel here i have tux toys which is having 1100 subscriber giveaway we're giving away some great toys including some little halo uh, little halo mystery mini like the little blocks you know like the mega blocks i guess it is um sets we're giving away some other things like a pokemon and nebo we're giving away some little pet shops some cute little animals like little 
plastic guys and some other cool stuff. So if you're into toys, check out Tux Toys. Also, we do also have a new gaming channel we're starting called Gamer Tux. You can check that out, look it up. I haven't really started populating it too much. We're going to do some less plays, some other computer gaming stuff on there. But really, a lot of the hardware reviews will remain here on Tux Reviews, okay? And also, if you're into Instagram, we have Tux Toys on Instagram. And you can catch sneak peeks of my videos and my shopping sprees on Instagram so you can see it live when it happens. And oftentimes, if I find like a really good bargain, I'll promote it on Instagram right away so you guys can see it immediately and maybe hit the store and get that rare Anibo or get that cool computer mouse on sale or whatever you're looking for, okay? Again, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell your friends. This channel is getting more and higher in subscribers. And as it gets higher, I may start doing some giveaways like I do on the Tux Toys channel. Okay, so it does help to subscribe. And I really do appreciate you guys watching this, okay? We'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.